What's up everybody, it's CMP with Craftmaster Productions and Studio12Tutorials.com. Don't forget to stop by Studio12Tutorials, pick up your premium membership. It is 50 cents a day. And also please don't forget to stop by CMPKits.com. That's where CMP sells the kits. Don't forget to stop by and grab Shane's reintro. Okay, new sound designers on the site. Don't forget to pick up scale chords, soul chords for scalar volume one. There's less than 70 copies available and they're going fast. Also, please follow me on IG if you want to cuss me out. If you have a question, the DMs are open. Feel free to reach out. Now, today we're going to be looking at the um, scratch pad feature. <laughs> it took me a second there. It's a, a scratch pad feature inside Studio One, right? So FL Studio has a has a very cool um, modular pattern based workflow, um, especially as it relates to the um, working in the um, in the playlist view. And, um, you know, if you're if, if your brain is used to working on that frequency, um, a linear type workflow might kind of break that up um, to, d depending on depending on how you might use the playlist, because I know that you can use the playlist in this manner as well. Right. So what the scratch pad is, is it's pretty much um, it's pretty much um, what it says. Right. It's a place where you can go and experiment with ideas um, and them not be permanent. Right. So you hit this uh, you hit this button right here and you can access the patterns inside the scratch pad like so. So I've, so I've got this is. And these patterns have they stay in a separate container. They have nothing to do with what's in the arrange window or what you would call the playlist window in FL Studio. Right. So once you click this, you don't access them anymore. And this is just your free place to experiment and try stuff out. So, for example, I have this different 808 pattern here. Right. And then I have I have something else that I was trying out here. That one I might not like so much. So say if I want to say if I want to make a new scratch pad, um, all I have to do is add one. Right. So that's think of that as add pattern and it'll make another one. And then to get this information from here into the scratch pad, I'm just going to I'm just going to copy it. Click it and drag it. You don't have to hold down any modifiers, right? Just click and drag it here. And then from here, I could say, you know, I want to make a sequence where. Where maybe I don't I don't have that first snare. Right. And then I can go into I can go into this arranger track right here, name it, right click on it, you know, and maybe I'll call this. Maybe I'll call this verse A, right? And then I could go and this is this is just a really this is just a really cool um I'll name this re verse A too, so it makes sense, right? And this is just a really cool way to go about making different variations and not having to worry like if they uh you know if they necessarily work if they necessarily work out or you know make sense now i can either i can either i can either duplicate this and make an exact copy and then you know go back and change how i want to alter it um you know if i wanted to take in Alter the sample, maybe. Right, we name this. And then once I, you know, and then kind of once I have this, you know, maybe, uh, maybe I'll make myself a real intro, duplicate this one more time.
And then, uh, and then all you got to do is just, you know, you could take this and zoom out here and then you can start building your track, right? So I'm going to start with, I'm going to start with two hooks. I'm going to grab, I'm going to grab this intro, drag it into the, drag it into the space. I want to go to verse A, drag this into the space. I want to go to verse B, drag this into the space. Take these, duplicate it out. And now I've got my beat arranged. Simple as that. So as you can see, it's a really like simple way to take, you know, a four bar loop, turn it into a song. Um, and I think the I think the um, what really makes it um, something that's that's super simple is the fact that you do it is you do it without um, without any expectations. Right. So there's just something about there's just something about looking at looking at a pattern and just having to deal with this pattern that gives you a different type of creativity than duplicating all these blocks out and then looking at it and being like, Oh, how am I going to make this? How cool? You know, it really takes away the, um, the anxiety of arrangement, which is, you know, a common thing with us producers. So it's a CMP with craft master Productions studio one tutorials.com. You guys keep it simple, but do not be basic. And we will see you on the next one.